Working, just day-to-day -day working of the body creates so much debris, so much impurity that it needs to be taken away efficiently. Today colon cancer, intestinal cancer are becoming so big, a clean colon is very vital for health. In southern India, we found one magic, it will keep your alimentary tract clean. In southern India, we found one magic. This is called as castor oil. Just a little bit. Half a spoon of castor oil every day in the night, warm it, put it in water or milk and drink it up. You will see your colon remains clean. It's a magical three fruits of tropical world. Mixing them in the right way, the trifala, with a little bit of water or a spoon of milk or something, if you take it or even honey, if you take it, the cleansing in the system will happen. I... Uh, because I don't take any of those things, but uh, they're telling me that uh, the trifala available in here in the shop is very, very good. It should be. Uh, I don't know, but you must try it and see, otherwise wherever it is, the trifula does wonders to see that your lymphatic system gets active. Dairy products have certain enzymes which are used today to manufacture certain textile adhesives. These adhesives are not water-soluble. So when you consume lot of dairy product, it goes and sticks in your colon. So, the waste material which should have easily flown out, will not flow out of the system. Generally, traditionally, ghee was always eaten as the first mouthful. Ghee is a lubricant which lubricates the entire alimentary canal. That should be the first thing you consume, so that it facilitates a certain easy passage of food. At the same time, if you eat ghee and carbohydrates together, if you ghee and sugar together, then it adds as fat. But if you eat just ghee or just with a small morsel of food that you eat ghee in the beginning, then it works more as a lubricant. So one who consumes ghee in a proper manner, that person's colon will always be clean because nothing sticks there, nothing stays there for long periods of time. See, one important aspect of being physiologically and psychologically healthy is, you must have a clean colon. If you go to an Ayurvedic doctor or a Siddha Vaidya, if you have any kind of problem, even if you say you're mentally disturbed, first thing that they do to you is, you have sleepless nights, first thing they do to you is to purge you. Because a clean colon is vital for all these things. Today, colon cancer, intestinal cancer are becoming so big. Uh, I would say it is not that you can prevent this absolutely, but the incidence would be much lower if there is a certain amount of consumption of ghee. And the ghee must be of the right quality. I don't know what commercial ghees that people are eating today, but if it is properly made from cow's milk or even buffalo's milk, if the ghee is made, it has many important uh, benefits. So in the yoga center, the day starts with a small marble-sized ball of neem and turmeric. There are many aspects to this of what impact it has on your system. So one immediate thing it will do is, it will keep your alimentary tract clean. When we say clean, this is a region where you have maximum amount of uh, other life. So within this alimentary tract, there are a whole host of microorganisms. Many of them have turned friendly to us. We are living because of them, we are able to digest food because of them. Many, many functions in the body happen because of them. But still there are many who are harmful to us. The uniqueness of neem, especially when it is taken along with turmeric, 
if these two things go together, largely those things which are not necessary for the body, those things can… that which can harm the body, any kind of parasital life which is there, all these things get eliminated. A clean colon is very vital for health. If you're eating off the fast food joints or off the supermarket shelves, you will be generally eating foods of very low water content. If there is non-vegetarian diet, then also it is a problem because the moment is very slow in the system. Any food that you eat should uh, have high water content in it. Your body is over seventy percent water content. If you eat any vegetable, generally it's over seventy percent water content. Fruit is over ninety percent water content. So if you bring sufficient amount of vegetables and fruits and nuts and sprouts like this, the moment of the bowel will not be a problem at all. You are eating very dry foods which have no water content in it. So if you bring in sufficient amount of fruit, vegetable, nuts and sprouts, this should take care of it itself. There is substantial medical evidence to show you, any food that you eat, its water content should be higher than your body's water content. You must eat water, not drink water. You must eat water, your food must have water content. You eat dry food and then drink water, it doesn't do the thing. If you don't know this, today doctors are acknowledging it. What is happening in your mind and what is happening down there are connected. We have always said this in yoga. If you are constipated in your emotion and in your thought, you will naturally get constipated down there also. You know this? See how your brain and the other part are connected. Because whatever you're doing up here naturally affects the foundations of your life. The muladhara is affected simply because of the nonsense that you're doing in your head. If you get scared, you'll either have loose motion or you'll get constipated. That's why we say shit scared. Either it is being dispensed at inoppor inopportune moments or it's being stored up. Whichever way you're shit scared, both ways, what is happening in your mind and what is happening down there are connected.